Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Disney's Hollywood Studios and we're going to be going to the very first ever Jollywood Nights. I am so excited. This is basically Hollywood Studios version of Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, but a little bit towards the adult kind of side. There's going to be multiple themed little lounges, including the Tip Top Club over at the Tower of Terror, a Muppets holiday show, and a Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas sing-along. So I am so excited. We're going to eat some food, ride some rides, and have a beautiful Jollywood night kind of night. Anywho, let's go do this. I've been saying for a while now, I feel like Disney's Hollywood Studios is starting to become one of my favorite parks to come to during the holiday season. And Disney finally decided to go with that. And they created this wonderful separate ticketed event. And uh, tonight's the first night, so we don't even know what to expect. But uh, we're going to try to do everything is like we're going to try to do all of the uh, festivities. Jollywood nights cost anywhere from $159 to $179 and it goes on from 8.30 p.m. till 12.30 p.m. And unlike the Christmas party, you don't get free cookies and hot cocoa, but you have heightened uh, experiences. Like I said, they have multiple cool spots that are very themed to the holidays where you can get some really cool specialty food and cocktails. And then also you got Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam, a little nighttime holiday show. So I'm excited to see how it goes and uh, I can't wait to see. Let me know what you guys think, if you think it's worth it or not, or how it compares to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. And now, joining me live to count down the tree-lighted mug, it's Mickey Mouse! Yeah. And Minnie Mouse! <laughs> <laughs> tree is officially lit and now the night has begun the park is gonna be closing and anyone who doesn't have a ticket has to leave and we need to go get our wristbands so we can stay because I'm a pass holder and I was already in the park, I don't have to go back out to the front of the park to check in for Jollywood. They have wristband distribution centers all over. And right here is one of them at the uh, Mickey Shorts Theater. So it's time to get our wristband and then the party should start in about an hour. There are four different like themed little areas or lounges around the park like I mentioned before and we're trying to join the walk-up reservation for the Hollywood Browner because it turns into a jazz club but we don't know the like details yet until it's time to actually hop on it. So you guys are watching this unfold and us learning so that we could show you guys and it's kind of fun. The Brown Derby. The Brown yeah, Derby. And when's it start? Probably at six. Know. We're gonna find out. Perfecting the magic on it. I am on the case. <laughs> I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to wear this hat. I was really excited to wear it. It's not a Santa hat, it's just one of those, I don't even know what style hat, but they have Mickey ears on it. I've got the other hat on, but this one it kind of like feels too baggy. You know? If I put it on, I can't really see. So I have to put this hat to keep it up. Awesome. Excellent. Oh, thank you. Fancy. Oh, oh, and a map. Yes, please. Oh, fancy. Happy holidays. I got to wear this really awesome Star Wars Christmas Roosevelt that's going to be coming out soon. But I got caught in the rain and I'm soaking wet now. So I might actually change, like have a change of clothes because I don't want to be a soggy bottom boy all night. Well, yeah, I'm pretty soaked. It rained pretty hard at the beginning, uh, but now it's kind of clear. So we might be lucky for the rest of the night. I really feel like most of the entertainment is kind of geared towards a different audience than Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Like I said, we've got the What's This? It's a Tim Burton uh, Nightmare Before Christmas sing-along. And it looks like they have uh, four show times, 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, 11.30. .30. That's at the Frozen Theater. And then they have the Disney Holidays in Hollywood. I'm so excited for this. That's at the Theater of Stars and they have an 8.45, 9.45. Wow, they have four showings for that. And that's going to be also 
Universal Muppets. And then later on tonight, they have Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam, which is a uh, fireworks show that they have here usually. But I'm hoping that maybe they might add a little bit to it and make it a little bit better since it's exclusive for this event this year. And then down here is the uh, like the uh, special little areas. They've got the Twilight Soray at the Tip Top Club in the courtyard of the Hollywood Tower Hotel, the Holiday uh, Fiesta in the Commissary Lane, and then Sunset Season Greetings all around Sunset Boulevard. Now we switched over and I just have like a regular spirit jersey on, but I have the hat on and it actually looks better with a black shirt. But uh, yeah, we're gonna catch some of the uh, sunshine season greetings, uh, the little projection show on the Tower of Terror, maybe see some snow, and then the party should be starting any moment. And I'm excited, like I'm so pumped. I can't wait to see the, the holiday special though, like the, the, the Christmas show with the Muppets. I think that's the thing I'm probably most excited for. Oh, here it goes. It's starting. Wow, the projections are really good. Look at that. And the lasers. There it comes. Jelly season's greetings here. I wonder what you're thinking of that time of year. Well, you heard it there, folks. Now the park is officially closed, and if you don't have a ticket, a little wristband or one of these lanyards, you have to leave. And then uh, they give it about an hour for everyone to clear out, and then the, everything starts at 8.30. And I'm excited. They kicked on the snow. Well, they just turned it off. Hey, I was ready for a winter wonderland. <laughs> As you can see, a lot of people are waiting for the 8.15 uh, standby uh, reservation for the jazzy Hollywood Brown Derby. There's actually so many people over here. This is definitely probably one of the most anticipated and most excited ones. I did it! Woohoo! I got it! We got it! We got it! Woo! Woo! Look at this! We did it! We joined the walk-up list for the Jazzy uh, Hollywood Brown Derby, and I am so excited. 8.15 is the time you have to do it, and then the party starts at 8.30. So we have like a 10-minute wait. Hopefully it goes by quick, and then we can have dinner, and then start the night. It's going to be amazing. I am like so excited right now, and everybody's dressed to the tens. Here is a look at the special menu only available for Jollywood nights, and I am so excited. Espresso martini old-fashioned little bee's knees and then look at the food pork belly they've got shrimp cocktail oysters Rockefeller a lot of good stuff yeah. I am just so excited that we got in so this is definitely something you want to do if you if you want to get into the jazzy like holiday brown derby to get the special menu do this first because uh, it sells out quick 8 15 they let it go and now it's booked up for the rest of the night and uh, it gave us an estimated of 10 minutes and our table's ready we're going in Wow they're playing the bare necessities I know it's probably loud in here, but this is pretty cool. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Oh, this is it. Kristen, listen, read this menu right here. It says, a place where old meets new with glamour and romance. We are gonna just order one of everything since we have a party of six. So that way we can show you all the food. And then we all got a little cocktail. I, you know, I went with the old fashioned, but I was torn because I really wanted an espresso martini. If anyone else got an espresso martini, I did, I did. you did. Oh. I got the beer, beer margarita. You got a beer margarita? Wait, really? Yeah. Wow, this music's hit me hard. <laughs> this is good. I'm loving it. I like this a lot. <laughs> Yo. That is my favorite margarita ever. Hey, happy Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We're in the Derby. 
<laughs> Look at this. Where's Maria? Where's everyone at? Over there? We're right here. We're just around the corner. Oh, right oh. Just around the oh, river bed. <laughs> wow. Here it comes. The charcuteries are here. The board right here. The shrimp cocktails. Look oh, at yeah. that. Fancy. Most of everything is under $15. So it's all kind of small plates, but yeah, look at that. It's really important not to get too comfortable though at the Brown Derby. Even though it's very warming and very inviting, the Christmas music, the food, and the espresso martinis, but there's so much to do. So you don't want to get, you know, wrapped up in here too long. The rest of the food has come out. We've got tofu bao buns. Or are these the, uh, yeah, those are the tofu. And then what are these ones? Oh, what are these? That's duck? Like duck legs? Wow, I'm so excited. And then we've got regular pork belly bao buns over there. Oh, can I see the sliders? Look at, oh. Look at that. Well, they only gave us two of them, so we have to cut them. Yeah, let's cut them in thirds. All right, guys, let's dig in. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Oh, <laughs> uh, we'll make it happen. As long as we're all together. <laughs> it literally felt like we were having Christmas dinner there. As long as we're all together. Yeah, that's right. Just like the carousel of progress. Jollywood. To Jollywood, everyone. Cheers. Thanks for everyone being here. <laughs> I love how it's a mixture of Christmas music and regular like Pixar and Disney classics. Right now, they're doing uh, Toy Story. You got a friend in me. Look at that. Get in there. Yeah. Let me see one of them duck legs. Would anybody... How are you? Wow. That looks good. Actually, all the food looks good. It's not a dizzy duck leg, is it? Hey now, sir. Hey -o. We are cutting up all of the food and sharing it, and now I'm trying the, the uh, Hollywood Brown Derby sliders. I don't think they have this on the regular menu, so I'm kind of excited. I think most, actually, all of this stuff is only available for Jollywood. Pretty sure, so here we go. Oh! So far, the slider is my favorite thing, but now I want to get into the duck. What is this actually called? I keep on a saying duck, duck leg. A, da a duck drumette. Look at that. Is anyone else on that sorry, Yo, I don't know what the sauce is on here, but it smells so good. Kind of orangey, so here we go. The duck is better than the sliders. Yeah? Wow. Everybody, what's your favorite thing? Slider. 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 Team duck. Team duck. Oyster? Really? The bow bun. The bow bun. I'm the, I'm team duck. Juliet and me are on the duck side. Team duck. <laughs> Well, the Brown Derby was nice. I do wish it was a little bit more festive in there. Maybe if like the cast members were like wearing like different festive like outfits, but they were just like in their regular Brown Derby uh, attire. The food was amazing. The only thing is, is when you're on, when you come to these special events, you only have a short amount of time. So sitting down really hinders uh, the chance of you missing some of the other experiences. So not too sure if I would want to do that unless I really just wanted to relax and sit down and kind of, uh, listen to some nice music with some friends but now I think it's time we make our way to the tip top club over at the Twilight Zone oh, well, the Tower of Terror well now we have come to the part that I'm kind of very excited for the tip top club and look the Tower of Terror has a 13 minute wait right now oh this looks so good holy moly wow look at the little sign that they have out front here this is great. Oh my lord. We know a little bit about Wild. Look at this. The Twilight Soiree. You know, it's that time of year, and we're here celebrating with all of you fine folks. And uh, I think Santa's on his way, if I'm calculating correctly. And I hope he has a lot in that sack for me, because I've been a very good girl this year. Head it, fellas. <laughs>
is a look at the menu. They've got the Fifth Dimension Royale, and then they have a Twilight Daiquiri and a sparkling pomegranate and apple cider. I like it. Wow, I am loving the music and the atmosphere over here. You know, it does sound like I have a very, very long list for Santa, but I'm not a material girl, no. I like a diamond or two like the rest of us. But what I really, really want this year is a very special romantic date for New Year's Eve. Can you imagine a moonlight dance here at the Tip Top Club and a perfect kiss at midnight? Oh, it's what every girl dreams about. So what are you doing, New Year's Eve? It's not like over at the Brown Derby where you have to join like a virtual queue. Well, I keep on saying virtual queue, but it's just a standby like wait list. Uh, this is just you walk up, you get in line, you get a drink, you hang out, listen to music, and have fun. It's so nice, but you're in the tip top club. Rachel in the alley cats. Look at that. If only we were all the way up there. You know, when they do the projections, sometimes you can see people dancing up there. Dancing at the Tip Top Club. And now we're down here. The 19. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get the fifth dimension. I'm getting the fifth dimension. I don't know, but I mean, we're at the Twilight Zone. I mean, we're at the Tower of Terror. We gotta get in the fifth dimension. <laughs> Can we do that with a Christmas jingle? Uh, yeah, we need bells. <laughs> Do, 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 do. That is not this song. <laughs> what did we order? Three fifth dimensions? Three of each. That's the way. Yep. <laughs> We're ready to drink up at the Tip Top Club. Who's carrying all those? <laughs> all right. Cheers to the Twilight Soiree. Soiree. Cheers. Thirteenth dimension. Thirteenth. That's, that's quite sweet. Oh, it's a little sweet. Quite sweet. Huh? I don't know. Are you in the fifth dimension? I feel like I'm in the sixth dimension. Yeah. Does that make sense? No. What do you like? You like it? That is a lot of sugar. That is a lot of sugar. A lot of sugar. No. Unfortunately, they are pre-mixed cocktails. They do have other options like sparkling apple cider. But come on, it's the fifth dimension. <laughs> Enough of the Tip Top Club. I love it over there. I mean, there's like nothing to it. You just show up, grab drinks, hang out, listen to music. I mean, just being in the little courtyard there is so much fun. But uh, right next door is the Hollywood, uh, the theater of the stars and I think we're gonna go see the show. Well, the Muppet Show, but it's not just Muppets, it's everything and I am so excited for this. And then we're gonna head over, try to do the Nightmare, Nightmare Before Christmas sing-along, Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam. There's so much, like there is a lot to do. The show isn't for another 45 minutes and there is a lot of people lined up already. The idea behind this is because I don't want to come to the last showing because the last showing kind of pushes you really close to uh, missing Jingle Bell Jingle Bam. So uh, I think it gets out at like 11.15 and uh, not 11.15, 12.15. So uh, we don't want to miss it. So we're hopping in line now. Oh, now I hope it starts snowing too. I am shocked that this hat has made it this long. It's really, really hot. I'm very sweaty. Just, just throwing that out there. Because we were both invited 
And yes, and because there's no better place to spend the holiday season than Walt Disney World. Sure there. Well, when I think about what Christmas means to me, I think about presents. Really? Just presents? And there are, there's so much more to the holiday season than gifts. Isn't there? Well, sure. But come on! We're literally Oh, what's that? Mistletoe! 
Once on the Cooking Network for Life Goes with Launchpad, starring Launchpad the Quack. Ooh, what a time. All this talk. Two. This time of year, the greatest gift we can give is something you won't find on a shelf. It's something we find in each other. liked that show a lot. I thought it was cute and it was funny and it was nice to see Mickey and Minnie on stage with uh, Kermit and Miss Piggy and Mickey's dancing was like, like I was impressed and the snow and the projections, it was really nice. Uh, now it's time I'm going to try to make it over to the Tim Burton sing-along and then maybe some of the other themed areas where they've got some snacks and then don't forget we got the Jingle Bell Jingle Bam fireworks later on tonight and that's at 1230 so that's the last thing we're going to do tonight. And look at that, we made it for the last show of the night. I love all of the signs though. What's this? Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas sing-along. Look at, even the signage is making me happy. I am so excited for this. It smells like Halloween Horror Nights in here. <laughs> this looks so magical in here. I love it. Look at Sally up there in Zero. The music, it really does smell like Halloween Horror Nights in here too. Now this is a sing-along, so I'm not too sure how much I can put in because the music is copyrighted, but they do put the lyrics up there, so I'm gonna try to encourage everyone to sing along. Friends. 
Tonight we invite you to lend your voices and sing along during What's This? Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas Sing Along. Mission. I'm going to do my stuff. 
stuff. singing along but I thought I liked the show a lot. I, I was fun and I liked uh, Oogie Boogie. He was probably my favorite uh, but now it's time for uh, Jingle Bell Jingle Bell. I think it's like I think it's seriously raining guys. Uh oh we might not be able to watch Jingle Bell Jingle Bang. Jingle Bell Jingle Bang. I don't know why I said bang. Bam. Bam. Jingle Bell time. It's the swell time to go riding in a one horse sleigh. Even though it's raining, it's not killing the Christmas spirit for me. That's the Jingle Bell Rock. Oh, hey, there you are. Hey, guys. It's raining. I know it's raining. Why did we put our umbrella? We actually have a couple minutes before the show actually starts, so we're going to make our way into Disney Junior. They have, like, nice little photo opportunities down here, and then they have a really cool photo opportunity over here. What are you guys... We're hiding from the rain. I'm going into the claw. It's kind of really cool, but they have this like robotic arm over there that does these really cool like uh, like photo pass videos. You can see they're uh, projecting them up on the t uh, screen there. Look at that. Doesn't that look so cool? You can actually get your photo here. That's what it does. It's like a robotic like special arm. Watch, you'll see it do its thing like at the red carpet. That's actually kind of cool. Isn't that, that, and now you can see, well that's not them up there, but this is previously recorded. It looks fun! It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Rain in every store. <laughs> Getting a little damp. Oh no. A little holiday dampness here at uh, Jollywood. First this night. This is funny. This We're is just so walking, funny. raining, and it's beginning to look like Christmas is playing. You know, one thing I'll have to say is that I appreciate that we're here after, you know, 9, nine o'clock here on a... Like, I know! Hollywood Studios. It's no, midnight it's right now! Midnight at Hollywood Studios! I'm a little wet, but I'm, not, I'm, I'm happy and I'm appreciative. Where's those fireworks <laughs> coming from? It sounds like... It's midnight! Epcot? Is that Epcot? They're testing the new show? Holy moly, I think they are. It's midnight. Why are they doing that? That's got to be Epcot. Wow, look at that. It's midnight, so they must be testing the new Epcot show. 
inside ABC Commissary. They've got a whole bunch of different cool specialty items and drinks just for the festival. Chicken and bananas, tacos, Mexican hot cocoa cheesecake, and then a coconut custard with caramel rum. I don't even know what the name of that is, but I think I'm gonna get it. I already got it. I think there was supposed to be some themed entertainment in here, but they probably had to stop because of the rain. Uh, so we're gonna just try the dessert and then probably head out so we can go watch the fireworks. And hopefully the rain will stop by then. But it's the end of the night, so if not, I'm just gonna stand there and soak in wet Santa hat and uh, watch the show. <laughs> I think that's where they were having that entertainment, but we're gonna make our way up. It's really coming down now, so we might not see Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam, guys, sorry. I'm standing here completely soaking wet, waiting for this show, and I hope it's good. Look at this. <laughs> oh, the hat is done for. And I'm using my lanyard to cover the mic. Good evening, everyone. Molly Arnott's Disney's Hollywood Studios invites you to join us for our Holly Jolly Holiday Spectacular. Get ready for a rockin' good time and enjoy. And I had to make my way over to the Brown Derby to get some coverage. And I think I might have broke my camera. <laughs> oh, is this the finale? But my back. And with that, we are back home now. And I'm so happy to be in some dry clothes. It was so uh, rainy. It got like so bad out at the end of the night. I got drenched. I was trying to watch Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam, but I didn't have an umbrella. And I was just sitting there in the rain, just getting drenched and I was trying to protect the camera so I don't even know if any of the clips came out uh, but we'll see I'll add them in there uh, overall thoughts on Jollywood it's not as good as Mickey's very merry Christmas party and I don't think it's worth the money quite yet they they really need to kind of it has potential they're definitely kind of gearing it more towards adults um, but they need to execute a little bit better like I said a little bit more theming more staff um, uh, the shows were fun. I did love um, uh, the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas sing-along. It was cool that they brought Jack out, and that's the same Jack that they use uh, from the stage at uh, uh, Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party. So it's really cool. It's the same puppet. Uh, but uh, the other shows, they were fun too. I wish they had more Muppets in the other one. It was nice to see uh, Tiana and uh, Princess Tiana and Mickey and Minnie and uh, uh, who else was it? Oh, Belle came out in her uh, you know holiday outfit uh, but the Muppets were in and out you know and uh, I probably won't go I wouldn't do Jolly Woods again this year and uh, next year uh, if Disney you know makes some you know improvements maybe add some more things to it I probably would go again maybe next year um, but uh, I, if I would ever choose between Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party or Jollywood after tonight I have to say Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party I mean it was amazing tonight like I said it was the first night in history they got some kinks to work out so we'll see how it goes I still had a lot of fun because you know, I always have fun. I was having a great time hanging out with my friends, but I could have done that at the uh, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party and uh, probably would have had more fun. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, but 
let me know what you guys think. I mean, like I said, some of it was awesome. The food was great. All the food at the Hollywood Brown Derby was amazing. I just wish it was more decorated better. The Tip Top Club, they needed more bartenders and maybe more decorations. Like, you know what I mean? A lot of it. And I don't know if that could have been hindered by the bad weather. Uh, I, honestly, we don't know because uh, it did rain earlier and then it stopped and then it downpoured again. Um, so, you know, it could have been. Uh, but I'm sure, you know, they'll notice that there are some, you know, areas to improve on. And, you know, you never know. Maybe they might change it. So, uh, we'll see how it goes. But, like I said, you guys let me know what you guys think in the comments. Would you pay $180 uh, to do the things that we did tonight? And, honestly, I got to do a lot of them. Now, the wait times were very low. The You know what I mean? So, if you want to ride rides, this is great. Um... But like all the other stuff, would you pay $180 for it? And uh, which party do you think is better? Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party or Jollywood? So, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye! Who is the little girl who sleeps in the closet? It's Gracie. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you laying like that? You want this? Not so much? Alright.